And welcome back to Mountain News This Morning. Meteorologist Brendan Orr joins us now. Now, what was that thing you said just before we took off there? Near zero temperatures. Please tell me you're joking. No, and that's not the wind chill. The wind chill is going to be likely below zero. And a lot of times we say, you know, there's high confidence or low confidence, and there's pretty high confidence the cold is coming, whether we like it or not. It's, you're not making any friends right now, are you? <laughs> it's on the way. But we had some warm weather, so we, we had a little bit to enjoy. In fact, yesterday, these are the high temperatures that we made it up to yesterday. 68 degrees out towards Whitesburg, quicksand. That's in uh, Breathitt County. That's not too far away from Jackson. They also hit 68 degrees. 66 over towards Boonville and 65 over towards Barberville. So we had some nice weather to enjoy, at least for a little bit yesterday. But this is all in the past. It's going to be a long time before we see temperatures like this again. So hopefully you get out to enjoy it like Alan Bowling. This is out towards Prestonsburg, out towards Ginny Wiley State Park. He was out there with the Corgi yesterday, looking pretty nice out there, at least for a little bit. Temperatures are still warm right now. They're still into the 60s. From Big Sandy, paint 62 over towards Paintsville, 61 in Breathitt County, now falling through the 50s in London. The warm front, or the cold front, I should say, is moving right through the area right now. It's already into the 40s out towards Louisville. So this push of cold air is moving in our direction. And actually, there's rain popping up along that cold front. And it stretches just east of Moorhead through Morgan County and northern McGoffin County. It's now starting to push into Jackson and Breathitt and over towards Manchester and Clay. It's already pushed through London, so enjoy the warm weather for at least the next couple of hours because after that, later on today, we're going to be into the 40s and the 30s and eventually the 20s by later on. You see where all the warm air is now over towards our area in eastern Kentucky off the eastern coastline, and look at all the cold weather off towards the west, these pinks. Those are single digits up towards Iowa and portions of the Midwest. That is heading in hard direction. Eventually, it's going to take several days to get those single digit temperatures in here. So the storm system is pulling away from us. There's plenty of dry conditions off towards the west, but notice there's a little bit of flurries off towards St. Louis and portions of Missouri. Some of that will try and push our way on after this cold front tries to move through, and you'll see that here on future view. So the rain pulls out. We're mainly dry today, just a few light showers here and there as temperatures fall through the 30s. And notice a little bit of pops of pinks and blue. That's a little bit of flurries trying to develop, especially up towards the Big Sandy and along the Virginia border. We could see a light dusting there in the higher elevations. Black Mountain, Pound Gap, uh, Big Stone Gap. That's where we'll see maybe a light dusting, and that's about it. We're dry on Monday, plenty of sunshine. Then on Tuesday, there's a little bit of swath of snow off towards our north. I think it's going to stay off towards the north and we will be dry on Tuesday. Just a little bit of extra clouds. After Tuesday, we see an Arctic cold front move in. It's going to be mainly dry, but that's when we see the big drop in temperatures. Highs only right around 20 degrees. Those are high temperatures both on Wednesday and Thursday. And here on the seven day forecast, you can actually see the lows are significantly colder than that by the middle of next week. In fact, they're down to around zero Wednesday night into Thursday, 11 degrees. That's actually warmer the following night. But wind chills, when you factor in the wind, it's going to feel much colder than that. And in fact, wind chills could be as low as negative 10 or even lower than that. So we could even have some advisories posted. We'll keep you updated with that uh, throughout the work week. Shane Smith and Brandon Robinson will be here through the week keeping you uh, updated. You know what that really heavy North Face jacket my brother got me for Christmas? It's starting to look like it's going to come in handy. It. It's my <laughs> chance to wear it. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a cold one out there. The coldest air since last January. We had three separate days last January that we hit uh, below zero temperatures.